Okay, let's rapid fire through some news. Good thing, Mark Wahlberg's never been to Giant Eagle before. He says, I've never been to Giant Eagle before. He's spotted in Northeast Ohio. You guys cared about that? Okay, Spain breaks record temperatures for April. What? Everywhere breaks uh, records. I heard it was like 130 degrees Fahrenheit in Thailand. This is not normal. Tempers are, temperatures are completely out of control this year. Uh, Cayento Torres said that wrong. Cayenne Torres, spokesman for the meteorological office, told BBC News. Experts were surprised by the scale of the heat experience across the southern Spain in recent days. This heat event in Spain is absolutely extreme, unprecedented, with temperatures never been seen before. Beaten by 5C margin, that's only happened a handful of times. Yikes. Yikes. Drink the plastic water. They put something in the water. Catastrophic drought that's pushed millions into crisis in the Horn of Africa made a hundred times more likely. I'm paraphrasing. Unrelenting drought devastating Horn of Africa left more than 20 million people facing acute food insecurity that not would have been not possible without climate change. Yep. All right. We're losing lots of ice. Reveals ice loss from 10 years of glacier ice loss here from Cryosat. Greenland and Antarctica are losing masses of ice, so too are most of the glaciers around the world, but it's tricky to measure them. So, well, here we, we got Alaska, 831 gigatons. I wish they had like a... Yeah, meters. Okay. Oh, it'd be yeah, 13,000. What's 14,000 meters to miles, guys? I can't do the math. Okay, it's just worse and worse. And even then, the Twilight Zone could disappear due to the climate crisis. What? The ocean's meso, mesopelagic, I can't even say it, zone, also called the Twilight Zone. I like that word better. Twilight Zone. Between 656 feet and 3,000. Pardon me, I, bu I butchered that, guys. All right. Marine region accounts for approximately a quarter of the ocean's volume. is home to billions of metric tons of organic matter, some of the world's most stunning biodiversity. Despite going beyond the reach of sunlight, these creepy little creatures, crustaceans known as Megacalanus princeps, live in the ocean. Good we way. live in the ocean. See, you're just a raindrop going in the gutter. While Ray Dalio tells us that he spent 13 days in China and has advice for the world's great powers in the Greek of War, he says, uh, two countries using sanctions and their armies to push each other across the red line of launching an actual war. He thinks we're in deep shit. For nearly 40 years, he's been going, and the two powers on the brink of war with each other, you think? He is so enlightened, isn't he? Because we're sending nuclear subs to dock in South Korea to deter Poyang Biden. You know, that's what we do. He sung American Pie. Can you believe that? What? How ridiculous. Climate crisis? No. We need our world leaders to sing American Pie, okay? STFU. We even tried to dogfight Russia. Tried to dogfight the U.S., over Syria, had a little skirmish. You know, we're just we're just lo locking and loading up. Got our fingers on the trigger. Global offshore Gulf offshore oil and gas production has double the climate impacts, as inventories report. Yeah, um, Paul's already went into great depths about this. You can watch this content on other channels, but basically, like we're we're not even reporting. Uh, we're not capturing it, we're not, it's just a mess. These things are just, you know, pumping out massive amounts of pollution, okay? Like, what do you need to know? It's statistically impossible heat waves are here. A study that identifies the regions most at risk. We had the Canada thing and Lytton, okay, so maybe we found out other places. Implausible heat is everywhere, okay? 31% of the land surface has experienced such statistically different implausible heat through the Pacific Northwest. These regions are spread all across the globe with no clear spatial pattern. Anywhere you can be cooked like green eggs and ham. Okay. Turn into mush. Meat sauce. All right, got to give a worthy mention here to Mr. Jackson Damien on Medium. This person did a really fantastic job summarizing the IPCC's latest AR final synthesis report. And that sums it up. It's wolf and sheep's clothing. They make it confusing and 
excluded new science, you know, ch to, you know, pick and chose what they did or didn't want to include, and yet we use the words like warp speed to get better, or Antonio Guterres, you know, to, to change things, and, you know, we're going to blow past 1.5c in many areas, mass loss of life, and enormous harm, okay, this is the kind of, maybe like a little wake-up call for the masses that like, uh, we got bombs heading our way. The bombs are dropping. And, uh, you know, that's it. We, we just keep our head in the sand and excluded major studies in 2022 uh, revealing temperatures across the Arctic Circle had increased between 4 to 10 C over four decades. These factors alone meant understand impacts on jet streams and agricultural yields, record low ice extent early 2023. And remember, this is the last time, right, they're going to meet for a while. So we've had all these, like, heat waves that were forecasted to occur after 2050 are occurring now even you know this is scary even to hannah cloak university of reading professor hannah cloak okay heat domes in british columbia i mean these things they predicted like way out are happening now and then they don't even really include them in this government report i mean it's just complete mismanagement and it's baked in no scientist disagrees that the CO2 that's baked in. So in a, in a lineup and a human scale lifetime, you know, relevant today, like 20 years, we'll catch up to 420 parts per million and really see what the world we're living in. And it'll be a it'll be done. Meat sauce. It'll be done. So this is just uh, I can keep going for a whole hour. This guy's he summed it all up. He he did a way better job. I mean, I could never do this in a video. Okay, that's how that's what good writing is. But like, who reads? You know, who's gonna? I get it. All this stuff makes complete sense to me. But like, to any dumb dumb, you know, diner waitress or whatever, like mailman, they're just, you know, how do you put this in a entertaining and informative way? on mass media for everyone to see how how was the best what's the scientific method on that you know and i guess i've been sort of experimenting with that but i would say it's it's shit out of luck you are you might as well jump and pray you won't get any chance of getting mass uh, understanding of what this fine writing is okay okay even science news independent journalism by tom sprigfield wrote here, from aliens to asteroids, a war and climate change, life as we know is at risk, okay? So he's trying to quantify, like, what's, you know, rate them, a, a tier scale, and I'm not going to read his writing, but, you know, he does mention The Last of Us, which is a fun, you know, fungal infection. Okay, so it could be aliens, asteroids, bees, all die, art, AI, see, oh, AI7, I agree with him, it's like way up, even if up there. Okay, I just showed my roommate the Terminator. This fool had never seen the Terminator. Shame on him. Quantum computing, complexity, social media. I don't think social media is going to fucking kill us. It's certainly destabilizing things, but I don't. if it were just separated alone, I don't think it's an existential threat. That's my opinion. Pandemics, of course, nuclear war, right? And then number one, climate change, dude. And he cites Princess Mononoke of all movies. I got to rewatch that. I, want, I mean, is it investigating how we're destroying everything? You know, the threat is real. Existential th catastrophes, okay? Spiking sea, ocean temperatures as... Look at this. No bueno. As El Nino returns, I have a drink on me. Boomers. All right, so all the carbon dioxide's catching up with us and all the, the heat is being absorbed in the oceans and now we're getting the full effects of that because we've been in a cooling period it's been you know well it's been above average but cool chill okay this is 2022 20, look how much what does it go next it goes up here okay and then it goes up here right that's how much we got locked and loaded in the system has it happened over two years or five years yeah most likely within the next 10 years temperatures will be off this scale near the headline consuming everybody and carpet repossessions and home foreclosures on the rising americans are living on a financial cliff a growing number of americans have found themselves strapped for cash and looking for financial relief as the u.s economy slows down yeah my business is slowing down too i rely on your support 
Speaking of which, you can visit my donation link below and contribute to this channel as I seek to spread truth and information and make it fun. All right. I feel good. I feel very comfortable in my own skin. This is a CBS News. I'll end with this. A 60 minutes wrap up. I'm not going to watch it. Don't really care. But you can watch it. Carbon captures. Captured from the air and buried in the bar on the ground underground. Groundbreaking new technology. All right. We got to build four. What is that? Four million of these? Yeah, I agree with him. Sure. We'll, we'll carbon capture. They capture 4,000 tons a year. Or this this one did. We've all seen that. And then we need to build two and a half million. Okay. All right. I'll just go buy some more supplies and food instead. That's probably a better bet. This has been your wrap up. End with this. May 1st. What's happening in the world? I'm the Doom Wizard. Like and subscribe. Again, thank you for your support. I'll talk to you later. See ya.